Hi, this is Pete at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial number 103. So let's go ahead and open up Unity and Mono Develop. And in this tutorial, we're going to switch our advanced movement script over to a finite state machine. Now, I was thinking about just switching, instead of going to a finite state machine, switching our update to a late update. Because if you look at our player inputs, it's the being input during the update. And if we switch the uh, action picker over to going during late updates, uh, that would mean that you know we'd get our player inputs during the update and then we could perform our actions uh, during the late update. So you would actually be able to do it, you know, the same frame. But you know, seriously, even if you're only running 30 frames a second, the delay between having to wait a frame would only be one thirtieth of a second. And to be honest, I really don't want any updates in here. Uh, if you have, you know, let's say 30 mobs on your uh, in your game, you could potentially have you know like 30 different updates running that don't need to be running. So I'm gonna go back to my original plan of setting up a finite state machine. So with that said, let's go ahead. So I'm just gonna throw it at the top here. And just like before, we started off the public enum, and I'm just going to call it state. And just like always, I make an idle init or initialization. Sometimes I type it all out. Uh, setup. And, well, action usually just ends up being replaced with, you know, a list of actions that I want to perform, but I've already done tutorials on this, so we'll just keep it simple and go like that. All right, so we already have an init, which is right here, which is <laughs> ironically going to be moved to setup because all we're doing is setting variables up. But let's just go to the start and we'll start there. So while well, true. Loop forever. And then we're also going to want to yield here. And I'm just going to return a null, not a bull. And we're no longer going to have a void here. We have to return an i enumerable. Actually, sorry about that. It's an i enumerator. And we'll make sure we spell yield right. Great, so let's set up our variable for our state, which will be private. It's of type state. And I'm just gonna call it underscore state. I'm awake, I'm gonna set it up to be idle. I'm sorry, not idle, init. There we go. So now let's go make our case block. And we'll have a case for state dot init. We'll want one for setup uh, we're not going to do one for idle and I'm going to leave action for now because we are going to replace action with you know whatever we want to do so let's start it off uh, this can be moved to init Well, the function init, but of course, you know, we're not actually going to call it init anymore. These I want to keep together somewhere. I might as well keep that in there. 
Yeah, so we're going to move all of this to the startup, and I'm going to rename it too. So this is no longer init, it's setup. And in the setup, we call setup. We can get rid of this init now. And at the end, we're going to want to set it to something else. So underscore state is equal to state. And I think I'm just going to set it to idle for now. I'm going to get rid of, well, we'll just change this to nothing. But I will make my knit now. So private void init. And in here, we just want to make sure certain things are attached. So we already know we're going to, we're going to have a character control. So I'm not going to bother. Well, we could check for it. Let's just check just to make sure. So if get component and what we're looking for character controller and we're actually looking for the reverse of it. If we don't have a character controller, just simply return. Uh, let me see, what else do we have here? That's the only thing we have there. I'm going to go look at the actual game object. Uh, we should check to make sure we have our animations. So we'll make sure that we have uh, the animation component and at least I guess the basic animations we're going to want to make sure that they're there uh, the movement script is what we're using yeah so we'll make sure it has an animation component so I'm actually going to move this over here make it a one-liner and do the same thing here except now we want to make sure we have an animation component and of course at the end if it is right then we'll want to go to the setup and for my action I'm actually just going to call it run So we'll make that one too now. And here's where we call action picker. And we have, there is another option that you can set up, which is a default. I don't think I've ever covered this. And this will catch, this clause here will catch anything that doesn't fit any of the case statements above. So if it's you know, not in it, uh, we'll have to change this. I didn't quite get that right. So it's going to go, if it's not in init, if it's not a setup and it's not a run, then use the default case, which will you know, run for anything else. But I'm not going to be using it, but just an FYI for you. So since we have run done, let's go down to setup and instead of going back to idle, we'll just go to run. I think that's it. Let's give it a whirl. No errors. Great. Let's start it up and see if she works. Not working. Uh, that's fine. Let's go back into mono develop and we'll just follow the the path. So it starts off at init. So if it's init, we're not telling it where to go. I'll tell you where to go. <laughs> we're just going to call init. That was the problem. Hopefully that's the only problem. 
as you can see it's pretty early in the morning the other night I just couldn't sleep so here we go I can move forward I can move backwards I can straff and I can jump oh yeah my pitchfork of doom so there we go um, you know, there's a few more things I want to add, but there's nothing critical right now, and I just want to keep moving forward with this uh, tutorial series. Uh, so we'll probably come back, you know, make some few changes in that, but I want to move on to starting with a bit of the mob AI, at least getting them moving around. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.